What is up guys, Call here. Today we are unboxing and having a first look at the ASUS or ASUS transformer pad. This is the Infinity 700T version. And as you can see, since it is a transformer, you can get a dock for it so you can have a keyboard that we'll take a look in another video. So uh, let's just jump right into it. The box itself, quite small and neat. You uh, just get some little brushed look here by the sides, not too much to say. Thickness of the pad, not sure if this is correct, but I think it just might be. And on the back you can see that this is the TF700T version, not sure if you can see that at all. Otherwise it's just uh, some uh, ASUS, ASUS contact information, and yeah, all the certifications. So let's jump right into it. So in the box, what's in the box? Do you get the pad itself? You can get it up right there. And uh, you might be wondering, does it come all this unprotected? But it's actually been unboxed and uh, played with for a bit since it isn't mine. But uh, we'll take a look in the box anyway. So in the bottom of the box you get a little drink. So you can pull out and uh, inside you will find a cloth that you can clean off the screen. All, uh, if you have all fatty fingers you can get those fingerprints away. You also get a uh, warranty card that you can fill out all the information about your pad and uh, read all about the warranty itself. And of course the user manual that comes in different languages. For example, here's some Swedish stuff that you can read all about in your language. And in the bottom compartment you get a uh, AC adapter that you can just plug into the wall with a uh, USB connector right here and the cable for the pad itself. So as you can see it's a regular USB cable connector right here that you can plug either into the computer or into that one and charge it. You uh, plug this one into the pad itself so uh, it's, not a, it's not a regular USB connector on this side so if you lose the cable you will have to get a new one. If we jump to the pad itself, as you can see, it's got a nice looking screen, full HD screen. It's 1920 by, whoops, how the heck do I go back? Down there. 1920 by 1200, so uh, full HD. It's got a uh, Tegera 3 quad core, it's an ARM Cortex processor on this, so should have enough power for all the games and uh, movies. We also tried this one with a uh, high definition video and worked quite well. And for later you can also plug a cable right in here. That's a mini HDMI, I think, or a special adapter. So you can just plug into your TV and check everything on the TV itself. What else does say? You uh, have Gorilla Glass, if I didn't mention that, so scratch and uh, knocking with the back of your finger proof you also have a uh, what's it called sonic master Not sure if you can read that speakers so uh, should be quite good sound let's see if we have any music here we can uh, play music see if there's some on this that one for example air You can fall asleep during the video. This is about as loud as it gets with the internal speakers. Let's see if we have any more. We'll go back right there, back right there. Have some with more uh, boopity boopy. Sensual sex. So it should be enough for your everyday in the living room. Ooh, nice. If you scroll to the side, it just flips a little bit for everyday use. And you can always plug a extra set of, set of uh, speakers or headphones into it. 
It has a battery that uh, goes for up to up to 10 or 9.5 hours with the internal one. And uh, with the dock plugged in, you can also uh, go up to, I think it's 16 hours. So uh, should be a good idea to get that. So yeah, quick look. You can also see the brushed side back here. Looks quite nice. Here's the 8 megapixel camera with the flash. And uh, we have a, a lock button right here next to what might be a reset or something. You have the volume up and down right here. Nothing special on uh, this side. You have two ports for, uh, for the speakers might be, I assume, or uh, just fittings for the dock itself. You have the connector right here. You have the SIM card port, I believe. Or is this the memory card maybe? Let's have a look. This is a uh, SanDisk 32 gigabyte. It's in right now. Not sure if it support up to 64. Let's plug that back in. And uh, this version is the 64 gig version internal memory. So should have enough. There again is also a HDMI connector right here. So you can plug it into your TV and a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So, uh, be sure to check out the dock. Uh, you can see that one in action. And uh, thanks for checking out my unboxing of the Asus or Asus Transformer Pad Infinity 700T.